Yeah, well, uh, there are a triad of behaviors that are the earmarks of autism. Uh, they include um, difficulty in social interactions, uh, delay in the development of speech and communication, and those are distinguishable, and repetitive behaviors, almost obsessive-like behaviors. Um, the recognition of this triad as a condition that we call autism began only in the late 30s. And um, as the diagnostic criteria began to be more widely applied, more and more children were being called autistic. Uh, and the definition, I think, I mean, people now talk about the autism spectrum disorders, where a child is, is, has varying degrees of these um, abnormalities. Um, it is not, in fact, an extremely well-defined disorder. It has sloppy boundaries to normal behavior. Um, we all know people that are awkward socially. Uh, there are many people who learn language late in life. And um, we may all may know people that's, that, that, that have stutters or have obsessive behaviors or even hand-wringing. So there is something of a continuum in all three of these things. So it's not a condition whose boundaries are well defined. Yet if you meet um, a child with autism, <clears throat> you can generally say that this, there's something profoundly, profoundly wrong here. Um, but it's a, it's a hard disorder to define better than that. And probably the reason it's harder hard to define it better than that, is that the number of genes involved, the number of underlying causes that can create this triad is very great. For example, um, the syndrome itself is enormously varied. And if you have listened to somebody who studies autistic children, children with autism, you'll frequently hear them say that each child that they see is different than the next. It's not really a syndrome in the way that Down syndrome is a syndrome. Um, there are a variety of genetic disorders that are frequently, you could almost tell that the children who have these disorders have the same underlying cause because they'll actually look alike. It's not just Down syndrome that has that property. Progeria has that property. There are a number of, of childhood disorders where the children that have these disorders actually look alike. Um, that's not the case in autism. Each child has, is, is sort of wonderfully different than the next child. So there's a huge amount of var variability. Um, and I think this, is, this has confounded the, the general public because it appears that the rate of autism has been going up so dramatically. In fact, I think that's mainly due to increased diagnosis.